Hi, this is Sripriya Kumar and welcome to yet another edition on uh, using ChatGPT and AI by professional accountants. So what are we going to talk about in this edition? We're going to talk about using ChatGPT to help us to write Excel formulae. So I've taken a very practical illustration, but before we go to the illustration, and this time I'm not really going to go and show you ChatGPT. I'm just going to work with a PPT and with an Excel file. So let's go to the PowerPoint presentation first. So I hope you're able to see the screen. Yeah, so this is on using ChatGPT to create Excel formula, including AI. What's the use case for the day? So many a times, you know, you get these raw dumps from the customer or from the client. And let's say you want to do an aging. You know, it's got some 20,000 rows and it's got various types of days from the invoice date to the present date. You've got 37 days, 538 days, 634 days, anything that you want to slab. Now you want to actually tell the client, okay, less than 30 days is so much, 30 to 60 is so much. 60 to 90 is so much and above 90 is so much. So you get this output from Tally, a huge dump or from SAP, and then you want to do an aging. So here I need an aging report. And I tell ChatGPT, this is my context. Please give me the formulae. So you write a query in ChatGPT. You obtain the formula and then you use the formula. So what's the query I gave to ChatGPT? Cell A2 in Excel, remember A2 contains the name of the customer, B2 contains the amount, C2 contains the number of days outstanding. Can you please give me a formula to be pasted in D2 to slab the range of days outstanding in C2 as under? If less than or equal to 30, give me number 1, less than 30 days. If 31 to 60, give me slab 2, which is 31 to 60 days. If 61 to 90, give me 63rd slab 3, 61 to 90. And if more than 90, give me 4 greater than 90 days. So once you give this query in chat GPT, what does it do? It is certainly to categorize. I have given you a string formula. Here's the formula you should enter in cell D2. And after you enter it in D2, you apply it to all the other rows which contains the data and it will categorize each value. Now you have this little text box running in chat GPT. What do you do? So you press copy code. So if you press copy code, the entire formula gets copied. So this is on how you actually use chat GPT to generate formula. If you're good at Excel, you will obviously go and say is equal to if this is less than 30 days, give me this. If this is between if it's less than 60 days, give me this. 90 days, give me this. So if you're good in Excel, and then you will notice that this Excel formula will start building a whole lot of parentheses, which is the brackets. And you need to apply the brackets correctly. I didn't have the patience to do it. So I went to ChatGPT and helped me to give a formula for this. And ChatGPT responded. Now let's pause here and go to Excel and copy paste this formula and see if it was correct. So I'm now going to open the Excel sheet, which I've got ready. This is my Excel sheet. Right. So let's go to the left here. So this is what we told ChatGPT. A2 contains the name of the customer. B2 contains the amount. C2 contains the days outstanding. You can even give one more condition here. You can say that C2 contains the invoice date. So give me in column D the number of days from the invoice date to the present date. And then give me the slab. So you can build your query. Here I've directly gone to the number of days outstanding. And we are going to ask ChatGPT for a slab. So this is the formula that got generated, which I copy pasted from there. So now I'm going to copy this formula and paste it here. I value pasted as a text. I'm going to move it. It gives me greater than 90 days. So is this correct? Yeah, it seems to be correct. So let's copy this formula down. Let's copy this formula down. 
This is also greater than 90 days. Let's go to 57. Wow, it's given it correctly, 31 to 60 days. Of course, you can go and construct the same formula in Excel. You can start by saying is equal to if C2 is less than 30, then give me this. But I just saved you the trouble. If it's four slabs, you can obviously do it in, in Excel itself. But if it's many slabs, suppose I wanted to give 90 to 120, 120 to 180, 180 to 365, 365 to 720, 730, 730 to beyond, it becomes very complicated to write this formula. So here I'm going down and copying the formula right through to the end. See, this is a kind of an agnostic illustration. I'm just taking any formula. So you can give any formula you want. You can ask it to give you the formula for NPV. The advantage is if you pin it down to a cell reference, it precisely tells you where you have to copy paste your formula. Now let's go check if the slabs are correct. So let me go to slab one. Less than 30 days, bingo. Everything is less than or equal to 30 days. You can, of course, go here and change the formula here and say or equal to 30 days. You can give it whichever way you want to do it. You go to the second slab, 31 to 60 days. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. It's picked up every from everyone, everything from 31 to 60. So the slabs are broadly okay. And... Uh, so this was yet another addition on how you use ChatGPT to generate Excel formulae. So in the previous edition, we had seen how to write a VBA script to copy paste to format a Word document. So I hope you enjoyed this session. And this is just one possibility on how ChatGPT can be used by a professional accountant to actually crunch your time. More illustrations will follow. And I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Shripya Kumar. Stay connected. Thank you very much.